Hello gamers, Gamer Theory here, and I'm here to inform you about the secret hidden law of the first Sphere game. Now, there's already an existing story which is completely fake and government lies spoon fed to you by the media. Wake up, sheeple. Anyway, now the story begins with chicken nuggets, as every good story begins. Just like How to Kill a Mockingbird, a story about creating mockingbird nuggets which is about racial equality in the local Mackie Dears. Anyway, continuing with the fear story, you begin the game as Point Man, your local American citizen, except you have chicken nuggets. Each of these nuggets are named Kentucky Fried Cody, Donald Deep Fried, John F. Kentucky, Tiramisu May, and Jimmy. But shit hits the fan fast, and this dickhead who controls an army with his mind gets possessed by a ghost girl who makes him eat all your fucking nuggets and a bit of people, but he ate your nuggets. So the only logical thing to do is go on a killing spree, murdering that stupid army, then you find the guy that ate your nuggets, shoot him in his stupid face, then you find that stupid ghost girl and shoot him in her face. But there's more to the story. And in fact, the guy you shot is your brother. And the ghost girl you shot is your mother. But of course, who cares? So you blow up the facility where your mother was being experimented on and was reincarnated, and as you're leaving in a helicopter, you see that stupid woman put her hand into the helicopter. Now, that's not it. There's more. And when you dig deeper, you find the secret law to this game. And you may think the guy who ate your nuggets and the evil ghost skull, they're the main villains. Wrong. The main villain is Hot Cheeto Man. Now, when you find him, you're exploring the Armaka building, trying to find civilians and track down the guy who ate your nuggets. But Hot Cheeto Man is the source of your suffering. He betrays you three times. You think you would learn from the first time, but no. This game could be so much easier if this man wasn't a fat Cheeto downing cheeseburger slut. Not only that, but he tries to kill you with a turret. Luckily, the top of lard gets betrayed and dies to a bullet wound. But does he? He could still be alive. Wanna know why? Food has been known to grant you superhuman powers. Such as your nuggets giving you the ability to slow time and react at insane speeds. And, of course, when your brother eats them, he gains the ability to teleport and jump scare you every five minutes, making you shit your pants. But Cheeto Man, think. Every security guard is dead. All the employees are either dead or missing, there are two left, but this one fat fox somehow lives. Bull shit. He hides behind a tiny cactus and leaves trails of hot Cheeto bags behind him, and he doesn't get found or die? Lies, lies, lies. The Cheetos give him superhuman powers. Why else would he betray you? He's a morsel. How else is eating nothing but hot Cheetos? Have you heard of Lil Xan? He went to the hospital just because he ate too many hot Cheetos. And you're telling me this normal guy eats this many and lives? Lies, lies, lies. You also never see him die. Sure he gets shot, but you can spend as long as you want in that level and he doesn't die. Only when you transition to the next stage does he quote unquote die lies. He never dies, even if the facility explodes like a nuke, you never see him die. In conclusion, food gives you god powers and Cheeto Man is an immortal god capable of destroying the world. But anyway, that's just a theory. A chicken theory. Thanks for watching.